Today we'll talk about how to create an ad on Binance in 5 minutes. So ad means advert. So how to create an advert on Binance in 5 minutes. So first of all, you click on Binance and you get straight into your Binance. Make sure your Binance is verified. Without a verified Binance, you will not be able to do this. Now you go straight directly into wallet. You can see wallet area down here. When you click on wallet, the next thing you do is click on um, funding. Please note that you can create an ad for several purposes. You can create an ad to make money. You can create an ad for escrow and other new things you can create an ad for. Okay, now I'm linking how to create an ad for escrow and how to make money with creating an ad on the description. You can go see it. Then you click on P2P. Okay, when you click on P2P, if you are new to Binance, this is exactly how your dashboard looks like. There is no, this is exactly how it looks like. Okay. So if you want to create an advert, you just click on this place written as this three sign here, these three dots. When you click there, you go to advertisement mode. Although there are um, some requirements Binance um, requires before you create an ad. So you click on confirm switch to advertisement mode so you can post advertisements. Okay. Now when you click on advertisement mode, how you know it has been activated is that you see that this dashboard is now like this. You can find home orders ads and profile now there are some requirements by the some requirements binance requires for you to create an advert on the platform first of all you have to complete 30 trades in a month okay now how do you complete your 30 trades you can buy usdt uh when you buy usdt it will be counted as one when you sell that usdt you count it as, as two so if you want to start let's say you just click on this guy buy usdt for five thousand just click on filter if you want to start um doing it Click on filter. Okay. Let's say you just buy USDT from this guy, 5,000 Naira. You have completed one trade. If you buy again, don't buy from the same person. Okay. You can, once you buy from this guy, you can buy from this person, buy from this person, different people. Okay. So make sure you have done it up to 30. Once I've done it up to 30, you come here, click on profile to check. Okay. Now you will find 30 here. Okay. You find 30 here. This my own is six. My own is currently six, but you find thirty. If you find thirty, it means you are clear to run your advert. Mine is six, but it's, I'm allowed to create adverts because I've been doing that a lot for a long time. You can see I have eleven thousand uh, adverts or trades on Binance, so it's more of like a preferential treatment. So when yours yours must be up to thirty trades here, and this place must be up to eighty at least. Okay. Now when you have done that. I told you how to do it you just come here when you buy from a person once you buy from one person you must click on filter okay so you can buy the lowest amount the lowest amount let's say in my country the lowest amount is four thousand naira now you can buy here once you buy four thousand naira own your trade is going to become one you buy again from this person it's going to become two now you have bought eight thousand naira you can sell them when you sell them it is now three you buy again four, sell them five. Don't buy from one person. You can buy from several people. Now, once that place has become 30, okay, you just come to this place written as add. This place written as advert. Okay. Then you click on add. When you click on add, these are the other adverts I've created. I'm just going to close them right now. I'm going to close them. So once you are new, this is exactly how your own will be. Your own will be fresh. Nothing will be here. Now, how do you create an advert? You just click on this place written as plus sign. Okay, when you click uh, when you click on plus sign, then you determine what you want to do with the advert buy or sell. Okay, you can click on buy or you click on sell. If you want to buy, you can click on buy. If you want to sell, you click on sell. But today we'll be creating is buy ad. Now you want to buy USDT, you click on USDT. What country are you from? If you are from the US, leave it as USD. If you are from Kenya, you can select K KS, Uganda, UGX, many other country. So you can see you must only select your own country, of course. You can select from one for, for one to buy from other countries. You can select the current country's currency. So I'm going to just select NGN here. So how much do you want to buy? How much? Uh, what do you want to buy? So I'm just going to type. I want to buy USDT, and I'm just going to put in 700. You select. You put the price. Price you want to um, buy the USDT. You can you can select fixed. Fixed. You can select fixed or you select floating. Fixed means you want your price to be fixed. Only you can change it. If you select floating, floating means when the market price is increasing, yours, yours also will be increasing. So that is very simple. So you just want to select fix. So whenever you want to change it, you can come and change it. 
if you select floating, you cannot change it. The market will be changing. The price will be changing by itself. So fixed is the best if you are looking at making profit for yourself. So the market doesn't change you into a loss. Now you click on next. When you click on next, you can type in the amount of USDT you want to buy on this area. Let's say you want to buy, I want to buy 1,000 USDT and uh, this is going to also reflect your price. Okay, I'm going to, I want to buy 1,000 USDT and you can, you, you can put in your minimum balance here in my country. You can only put in 4,000 Naira. Okay, 4,000 Naira is the minimum and you can just type in 500,000 here. Depending on what you want, you can make it 50,000 depending on what you want. Okay, now you select your payment method, which is uh, you, which you must have added, and then you select the time at which you can uh, complete the order. Once you have done that, you click on next. Okay, this is the fee you'll be charged for buying 1,000 USDT. Okay, you'll be charged one USDT. Now you click on next, and you can just type your terms and condition. I'm online, I'm online. And uh, this place written as counterparties. If you want people who have who have registered for uh, on on Binance for maybe thirty days or one year, you can select. You can type the amount of days here. Let's say you have somebody have been been on Binance for three hundred days. You can type it here. So this means you are choosing the kind of people you want to see your ad or to interact with you. So it's but best to leave it if you want many people to be able to interact with you. Then you can now. Uh, leave it online or offline. If you want to leave it offline, you select offline and publish post. If you want to leave it online, you go online, but I'm going to leave it offline so that people don't start clicking on it. When you click on post, your advert will be successfully posted and you can see this is your ad price. So you can click on done and you find your advert here. Whenever you want to, whenever you want your ad to be online, you can open it like this online. If you want it to be offline, you leave you toggle it again, it's going to be offline. So you can create an ad for Bitcoin, not just, I created an ad for USDT, remember? You can create your own ad for Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB, several other cryptos, and this is exactly how to create ad on Binance in a very short time. Now have a wonderful day and see you in our next, in our next class. Remember I said, I'm going to add, you can create an ad for several reasons, you can create an ad for uh, making profit on P2P, you can also create an ad for escrow, and for other reasons that might be best known to you. Have a wonderful day and see you on our next class.